All right, now the question six in the thermal expansion. Okay, let's read together. A copper radiator of capacity 15 liter is filled with coolant at 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, filled with coolant. Uh, when the engine is running, the temperature of radiator rises to 96 degrees Celsius and the coolant overflows. Explain why the coolant overflows. Why the coolant spill out. Okay, why? Simple answer, liquid expand faster than solid. That's the simplest answer I can find. Liquid expand faster than solid. Uh, gas is the fastest. Gas expand even faster than liquid. Uh, and then liquid expand faster than solid. That's the reason. Okay? Uh, never mind. We go back to this question. We analyze uh, one by one. Now, initially, we have a copper radiator. Okay? Re the, radi the copper radiator is just like the container. A solid container. Solid container. This solid container radiator is filled with a liquid coolant. Liquid coolant is filled. So that means we have the uh, radiator and the coolant. Both radiator and coolant have initially the same volume. Because he say, he say what? He say it is filled. Uh, the whole container the whole volume of the container of the radiator is filled with coolant. That means the initial volume for the radiator, initial volume for the radiator is the same as the initial volume of the coolant. The volume for the container, initial volume of container is the same as initial volume of the liquid coolant. Now, both of this initial volume, the solid and liquid, Solid and liquid is 15 liter. Uh, so 15 liter is the initial volume for both. And both have the same volume. Okay? And the initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. I already put here. Huh? Initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius for both the radiator and coolant. Now when you run the engine, yeah, of course, when you start to run the engine. Uh, the engine become hot, isn't it? The engine become hot and the temperature will rise. So the temperature of the radiator will rise. Uh, just now it's 30 degrees Celsius and because uh, the engine is running, when engine running means it get heated. Uh, the whole thing get heated. The radiator and the coolant both, both get heated up and both will expand. The radiator, radiator will expand the coolant also will expand. Both expand. Uh, but coolant expand faster. You know? Uh, so, uh, they're being heated up from 30 to 96 degrees Celsius. Yeah, because the engine is running. Uh, engine is running. So, the temperature is being heated up from 30 to 96 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, um, but you see, because the coolant expands faster than radiator, and initially is the coolant already filled the whole radiator. So if the coolant expands faster than radiator, the radiator cannot contain the coolant. It cannot contain the coolant because the radiator does not expand fast enough. The coolant, the coolant expands very fast, but the radiator does not expand fast enough to contain the coolant. So some of the coolant, the liquid coolant, will spill out, will spill out, will overflow. Uh, so we now, uh, yeah, so there are some coolant being spilled out. This is the volume of coolant spilled. Okay? At this final temperature, 96 degrees Celsius. Okay? Why, why I say liquid expand faster than solid? We can check at their coefficient. Okay, I can check. We can check at the coefficient. It already gives us the coefficient of linear expansion for copper. Uh, that is, uh, you know, linear. Uh, this one is not volume expansion yet. This one, it just gives you the alpha only the, for the linear, the length. 
uh, of the copper. Copper is the radiator lah. Uh, copper is the radiator or the solid. Okay. So it gives you the alpha for copper or yeah. So we have the alpha for copper, which is also the alpha for the radiator, the solid. It is 1.7 negative 5. Uh, 1.7 negative 5. So, but this whole question is talking about volume, volume, volume. So this alpha you need to change to gamma. Huh? Because alpha is only for length. You need to change to gamma for volume. So th this is alpha for radiator. Okay, I put as alpha R. So I need to find the gamma R. The gamma for radiator. Uh, the gamma of radiator is 3 times alpha. Yo, so the alpha you just multiply. Alpha multiply 3. Uh, this alpha multiply 3. Uh, so that means the 1.7 exponent negative 5 multiply 3. You will get 5.1 exponent negative 5. Uh, this is the coefficient of volume expansion for radiator. The what we call the solid. Uh, the solid container. Yeah? So this is the solid. Okay. Now, it also give you the coefficient of volume expansion of coolant. Uh, we, we know that liquid, this coolant is liquid. It don't have length, don't have area. We straight away say this is about volume expansion. Yeah, talking about volume because liquid only have volume, don't have length, don't have area, just have volume. So it give you the gamma. This is the, this is the gamma of the coolant. Uh, this is the gamma of the coolant. So I have the gamma C, gamma of the coolant, uh, four exponent negative four per Kelvin. Okay. So this is the, what you call the liquid. Uh, the liquid. So now you can compare. You can compare between the gamma for solid and gamma for liquid. Which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? You see this gamma for solid, which is the radiator, uh, exponent negative 5. But this gamma for liquid, the coolant, exponent negative 4. Uh, you see, this exponent is bigger. Uh, this exponent is bigger. Negative 4 is bigger than exponent negative 5. This one is bigger. So that means the, li the liquid or the coolant has bigger gamma compared to the radiator. Ah, so I can say like that. The gamma for the coolant or the gamma for the liquid, 4 exponent negative 4, is bigger than the gamma for the radiator or gamma for the, um, you know, this is the coolant, the liquid. And this is the gamma for the radiator, the solid. Ah, the gamma for the coolant, the liquid, uh, exponent 4 exponent negative 4, is bigger than the gamma for solid, which is only exponent negative 5. Okay? So, the gamma for liquid is bigger. Yeah? Uh, it, is, uh, it is, the gamma is bigger, this gamma is smaller. The gamma for liquid is bigger, the gamma for solid is smaller. So, what does this tell you? That means, when the gamma is bigger, means the liquid expands faster. Compared to solid, the solid has a smaller gamma, smaller gamma. So that means the solid, small, the solid expand slower. Okay. So what I can say is, why the coolant overflows? Because, because what? Because the coolant has a bigger gamma compared to the gamma for radiator. That means what I can say is, um, I can say is the Coolant expands uh, faster than the radiator. Uh, coolant expands faster than the radiator container. Uh, radiator container. Uh, so the, the container cannot contain the coolant. Cannot contain because it does not expand fast enough than the coolant. So the coolant overflow. Okay. Why the coolant expand faster than radiator? Because the coolant 
has a bigger gamma, bigger gamma compared to the gamma for radiator. Okay, that's it. Now, just look at the coefficient. We can know which one expand faster. Yeah, the the coolant will expand faster because it has bigger gamma. The radiator expands slower because it has a smaller gamma. Okay, that's enough. Now, calculate the amount of coolant spill out in cm cube. Yeah, I want the unit in cm cube. Now, I want to find how much coolant spill out. So, how to do it? Initially, the coolant and radiator have the same volume. Now, how to find the volume spill out? Uh, how? Very simple. The volume spill out, the volume spill out is using the final volume of coolant because we know the coolant expands faster, isn't it? Uh, so that means the final volume of coolant must be bigger than the final volume of radiator because coolant expands faster. You know, coolant, coolant expands faster, radiator expands looks uh, slower. That means the final volume of the coolant must be bigger than the final volume of the radiator. So, but how much bigger? How much the final volume of coolant? How much is it bigger than the final volume of radiator? So we just find the difference. We just find the difference by minus. Uh, take the final volume of coolant minus with the final volume of radiator. All right. Uh, find the final volume of coolant minus the final volume of radiator. Find their difference. Uh, then we can find the volume spill out. All right, so now let's find out the final volume of radiator first. Final volume of radiator. Okay, um, I can um, actually, I can maintain the unit. Uh, you know, the, the final, the initial volume of radiator as liter, the final volume also as liter. You can, no need to change the unit. You can maintain as liter and liter because after all, they just cancel each other. You see, the liter cancel by liter. Uh, so you can just use liter. No need to change to meter cube. Yeah. So maintain as liter. So I put the radiator as a uh, fifteen liter because initially the initial volume of radiator is fifteen liter. So just put fifteen liter. So now um, uh, one plus gamma gamma for radiator gamma for radiator is 5.1 exponent negative 5. Uh, so that's it. 5.1 exponent negative 5. And then the final temperature 96. Initial temperature 30. So 96 minus 96 minus 30. Okay. So 96 minus 30. Yeah, you can maintain as degree Celsius. Yeah. Change in temperature. You can maintain as uh you can maintain as degree Celsius minus degree Celsius. No need to change to Kelvin. Yeah. So now, uh, let's cal calculate. So what is the final volume of radiator? Final volume of radiator is 15.05049 liter. That's the final volume of radiator. How about the coolant? Uh, let's find out the coolant. Also, I can just maintain as liter with liter. No need to change the unit. Uh, initial volume of coolant also start with 15 liter because just now I said the radiator is being filled by coolant. So both have the same initial volume, 15 liter. So the coolant initial, coolant initial volume also 15 liter. And then, but the gamma for coolant is much bigger. The coolant, the gamma for coolant is the gamma for coolant is much bigger, so expand much faster. Four exponent negative four. Okay, four exponent negative four. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, so this is um, um ninety six minus the temperature still the same from thirty increase to thirty ninety six. Okay. Um, so 96 minus 30, okay. Um, now, so let's calculate, okay. Let's calculate. So 96 
So what's the final volume of the coolant? Final volume of the coolant is, um, you know, uh, final volume of coolant, I calculate, I get 15.396 liter. 15.396 liter. Ah, do you see that? Radiator from 15 increased to this amount, but coolant from 15 increased to 15.396. So, coolant expand even more compared to radiator. Radiator just expand this little bit. Uh, the coolant expand even more. So, how much more? How much more is the how much is spilled out? You see that? Uh, so, just minus the, the, to get the difference. The difference is the volume spilled out. Okay? So, the 15... 15.396 minus 15.05049 and uh, what's the answer? What's the answer? We minus out and we will get uh, we will get 0 0.34551 liter uh, which is which is uh, also 0 0.346 liter. Okay. Ah, uh, so that is the volume spill out 0 0.346 liter. Is it? Ah, uh, the amount of spill out in centimeter cube. Okay. Centimeter cube. Centimeter cube. So, but I I so I need to change the liter to centimeter cube. How? Okay, how to do that? Okay, we know that. 1 liter is 1 dm cube. Okay, 1 liter is 1 dm cube. 1 ml is 1 cm cube. Uh, and then 1 liter is 1000 ml, isn't it? Uh, so 1 ml is 1 cm cube. So ml is, uh, can just change to cm cube, which is 1000. Okay, uh, so 1 liter is 1000 ml. Also, 1 liter is also 1000 cm cube. Ah, so that means uh, this uh, this liter, okay, um, I want to find in cm cube. So that means I just multiply this by 1000. I just multiply this by 1000 and then I can change it to cm cube. Uh, I can change to cm cube. That means this is 3, 4, 6. Uh, or I can say this is uh, multiply 1000. This is 3, 4, 6 ml, isn't it? 346 ml, uh, ml is also cm cube. Yeah, ml is also cm cube. So this is also 346 cm cube. Uh, that's the volume spilled in cm cube. Okay, uh, that's the volume. One liter is one dm cube, one ml is one cm cube. So uh, one liter is 1000 ml. Yeah, one liter is 1000 ml. ML just changed to CM cube and that's it. That's the answer. Yeah, volume spilled in CM cube. Okay. Remember? Uh, if you want to see which one expand faster, we just look at the gamma value. Just look at the gamma value. Uh, if the gamma, uh, like the coolant, normally coolant liquid has a bigger gamma, the solid has a smaller gamma. So liquid has a bigger gamma means it expands faster. So how much faster? We'll just look at the final volume of both. Final volume for the radiator, final volume for coolant. Uh, so it seems that the coolant has a bigger final volume. The radiator has a smaller final volume. So find their difference and we can find, yeah, when we minus this both, we can find the volume spill out. Yeah, final volume of coolant minus the final volume of radiator. Can find the find the volume of the coolant spill out. Okay, so that's it. That's all for uh, our series of videos uh, in um, heat conduction and thermal expansion. I hope you um, understand what we are learning. Okay, if anything you don't understand, just leave a comment below. If you like the videos, please subscribe and recommend to your friends. Thank you for your help and um, thank you for watching and thank you for your time. See you.